And obviously I've known about you for a while. You're probably the most famous, at least in America, definitely in Nevada, um, companion, right? What's like here, before I go any further, because I know a lot of people terminology confuses them. What is a term that you would prefer to be used to describe what you do? So I am very comfortable with the phrase companion, especially now in the COVID-19 era where I'm not necessarily working at the Bunny Ranch. In the past, I've referred to myself as a legal luxury companion to kind of differentiate the fact that it's happening out of a Nevada brothel versus independent work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like a companion would be a good way to describe you because I've had other women in your line of work on before and like some preferred escorts. Um, I, I know that I had Amy Taylor on. I don't know if you know who she is. Oh, she's wonderful. Um, yeah, she's great. But she had some really interesting um, opinions about terminology. Mm. So, uh, so so escorting was kind of like for her, um, her most preferred term. But anyways, my point is, is that, you know, I was, I was looking you up and, and I was looking at your website alicelittle.com. And I was so amazed by how you've diversified what you do. You offer so many different things, not just companionship, but I'm sure you've had to diversify in the age of COVID-19 because I would imagine you're probably, I don't know if you're working now or if you're working less than you. I mean, if under any circumstances, I'm sure you're working under different conditions, but you also offer like counseling, intimacy, coaching, education, um, so many different things. Yes. I wanted to put myself out there in a number of different ways that were very specific. I feel like the idea of companionship is very, very broad. What is a companion? What do they do? What, what kind of services are they providing? And so I try to kind of distill it down and speak a little bit more to the individual and what their needs are. Because you figure someone that's a 21-year-old virgin is going to have very, very different intimate needs than, say, someone who's 16. 60 years old and is grieving the loss of their wife and is now a widow. Mm -hmm. And then you also offer um, intimacy coaching like for couples as well, right? Yes. I love working with couples, couples, throuples, polycules, any combination thereof, pick a shape. Do you have a favorite of all of these different avenues that you do? Do you have a favorite niche? Ooh, if I had to say an absolute favorite niche of mine is probably working with couples that have been together for five or more years that are kind of past that honeymoon phase. And now they're trying to figure out their long-term intimacy strategy. And I think that's just so interesting. And I love being able to help facilitate that. So what is the issue that these couples come to you with generally? Like, is has their life petered off? Are they kind of bored? Are they looking for new ways to invigorate that, that intimacy between them and they figure that bringing in a, a third party would help? Most commonly, I'm presented with a scenario in which guests have become very accustomed to a routine. This is what their intimate lives look like and never shall it leave this little bubble. But after five or so, 10 years of that same routine, people want to break outside of the mold. But as we all know, it's very, very, very difficult to kind of liberate yourself from a system that you've kind of become stuck in and break those habits. And so oftentimes I'll come in and present them with new interesting ways that they can interact and kind of examine, hey, what sorts of directions do you want to explore? What things are you interested in? And then I help them kind of navigate those waters. So do you do this sometimes where you are a participant in the sexual activity and then sometimes where maybe you're not and you're just like coaching them? Do you have both scenarios? Yes, I absolutely have both scenarios. For example, sometimes it'll be kind of like teach and tell where like I'll walk somebody through the anatomy and how something should look and this is how your two bodies are going to come together. Now it's your turn. Go ahead, give it a try, and then I'll be on hand to kind of offer pointers. 
Whereas other times I'm actually a very active participant in it where we're doing mutual foreplay and I'm showing them, hey, this is how you can kind of take the act of simply removing clothing and turn this into like kind of a flirty floor play activity and make something more of it than just take your clothing off, put it on the floor. That's, that's an opportunity there. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.